So today we're going to see how to create S3 buckets using uh, .NET. And for that I have uh, interface called uh, IEST service. This is a customized interface. And uh, in that interface I have a method called create bucket. So now we're going to see how to implement this interface. So this is the class where I'm going to implement the interface. Now I have this create bucket method which takes bucket name as a parameter and this is the method which is going to you know help us create the S3 bucket and inside this we have something called you know does bucket exist async so this method is going to verify whether you know the bucket name already exists or not so create bucket method you know for takes uh, a parameter called bucket name and uh, you know create bucket request object and the request object contains bucket name and the region the region where you're gonna create your bucket so this request object is passed into uh, you know an another method called put bucket async so this is the method uh, which is given by you know amazon sdk and it takes an input called you know create bucket request so this is an actual method which uh, actually internally creates your bucket so now uh, you know we'll try to f run the codes and see you know uh, how it is going to create you know, uh, the bucket inside Amazon S3. So now we are gonna you know uh, invoke that me method called you know create bucket, and we're gonna pass the bucket name. So here you know I'm taking the bucket as you know uh, bucket dot demo dot com or something like that. So you can choose your own bucket name. Uh, so pass that bucket name and you know the bucket should eventually get created so now that i've run the codes it takes access key and secret key as an initial parameter to initialize the amazon client and now it hits the method called create bucket and uh, ideally you know uh, the create bucket request is created and now it hits the method called put bucket async so probably i should be getting a response let me see i mean what response we have received we have given the bucket name as an input parameter and the bucket create bucket request object has been you know passed in so uh, we should be ideally logging into uh, amazon console aws console and verify whether we have uh, the bucket intended in it or not so let's check that let's verify that i'm just going to log in into the aws console with my you know uh, email id so i'm going to choose s3 as my service and see whether the bucket has been created or not. So I'm just gonna refresh this. I see that bucket has not been created. Probably there is something missing in my enough you know, .NET code that we need to rectify and you know, fix that thing. So with some slight modifications, you know, I'm gonna just rerun this codes and see if this is gonna work. So I'm just trying to you know, input the proper bucket name and I've run this code so I'm taking to the point again back to you know the initial stage. So this is going to check whether the bucket exists or not. If it doesn't exist then it comes to the place where you know we have create request object, create bucket request object and now we're gonna see whether the bucket has been created or not.
so i hope now the bucket should be created let's you know verify that in the amazon console now if you see you know uh, the bucket has been created so you can go inside and check you don't have anything because you have not uploaded any s3 files or folders but you can still perform multiple uh, actions from the menu so this is a small demo to show how to create a s3 bucket from dotnet